So let me list here a couple of common mistakes we have experienced so far. One is um, it's hard to assemble all this in the middle of the night, so it's really worth assembling it in your dorm, checking it out, and then disassembling it. But at least have some experience with how to fully assemble the equipment in daylight. That's number one. Second is sometimes people go out to the field, try to do photography, and they don't charge the batteries. So once they are outside there, ready to do photography, the batteries are weak, nothing works. So make sure the battery of the camera, the battery of the sky tracker, are all fully charged. So you are ready to go. The third one is um, you nicely align this to the celestial pole with the polar star, and then during photography, you kick the tripod or you move something on it, uh, not the bow head, but something here on the base of it, that misaligns it from the pole. Number four, on the back here, this really has to be northern hemisphere, otherwise it will check the opposite direction. And it has to be sidereal rate. So I've seen that being set in the wrong position. Number five, focus. Focusing this is not trivial. You have to use live view on a bright star or planet of the moon, or perhaps something far away, like a, a remote uh, street light. And once the focus is set, you have to make sure you don't touch the zoom or the focusing of the lens. Otherwise, it will, um, it will defocus it. Um, another one is, there are all these screws here. You have to be careful which screws are tight and which can be loose. Okay, so let's go through. These two screws here are holding the base of the bow head onto the sky chucker. They should be super tight and never released, these two. This other screw here is holding the camera on to the bow head. Should be not released up to the last moment when you're ready to take off the camera from the system. But during the night when you're observing, they should be tight. Um, you have to be, of course, careful not to drop the camera. These other ones can be released by holding the camera so you can aim the camera anywhere on the sky and then has to be tightened again. Um, another mistake I see is that people uh, talk very close to the optics and dew forms either on the front lens or on the back and that makes the images poor. Um, settings are important that the ISO setting and um, exposure time everything is correct and reviewing the images is very important. I've also seen tripods not properly set up so it's not tight and then during the exposure it slides and the tripod starts to collapse so be careful about that. That's, that's